Hi guys and welcome to the Affliction Lock guide for the for Battle for Azeroth. And I'm going to be going through the single target and AoE talents and the rotation. There's been a few changes to Affliction and that a few of the old spells are coming back and a few talents have been switched around. So I'll be going through that now. So for single target, you've got Shadow Embrace. Shadow Bolt applies Shadow Embrace, increasing your damage dealt to the target by 3% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 9 times. Uh, Death Bolt launches a bolt of death at the target, dealing 5% of the total remaining damage of your target over time effects on the target. And Haunt, a ghostly soul that haunts the target, dealing 905 shadow damage, increasing your damage dealt to the target by 10% for 12 seconds. I use this due to the fact that if you're using Shadow Embrace, you're only going to get 9%. Um, damage dealt increased to the target whereas Haunt you're getting 10% for 12 seconds and it's got a 10 second cooldown so you can keep that you can keep Haunt up on the target all the time so that's my reasoning behind that and I don't really ever like Death Bolt because you've got to keep up your dots and an extra spell added in is just a waste of a GCD that you could be using on Agony and Unstable Affliction and stuff like that so Death Embrace has been moved to a talent and that Agony, Corruption, Stable Affliction, Seed of Corruption and Shadow Damage deal up to 40% increased damage on targets below 35% health so this obviously is the Warlock's Execute. Um, absolute Corruption is just, you know, Corruption is now permanent and deals 15% increased damage. And Rife and Agony. I always take Rife and Agony due to the fact that Agony is going to be what's giving you your um, Soul Shards. So you always want to let Agony ramp up to as much as possible. And now it ramps up to 15. I've got more um, Soul Shards. Next one, Burning Rush, obviously, because I like the speed. Oh, your next one, Sow the Seeds, is the same as it was in uh, Legion. And so is Phantom Singularity. So you just want to take um, Soul Harvest for single target due to the fact that you're never really ever going to use Seed of Corruption for single target. And Phantom Singularity, it just isn't that good. So you want to take Soul Harvest. Next one, Dark Fury, obviously, so you can stun um, groups quicker with the reduced 15 seconds. Next one, Grimmer of Sacrifice. Sacrifice is your pet. Obviously what it was like on Destruction, 493 additional shadow damage. Next talent hasn't been chosen, but I think Nightfall is just going to be the best out of all of them. Due to the fact that cor Corruption damage has a chance to cause your next Shadow Bolt to be instant and deal 25% increased damage. So your next one, Soul Conduit has been added back into your last one, and so Siphon Life. But they've added a new talent in Creeping Death. Your Agony, Corruption, and Unstable Affliction deal their full damage 15% faster. I just like using this one due to the fact that my dots are ticking quicker, just stuff like that. It's really, really good. So you want to take Creeping Death and Soul Conduit 15% chance. You don't really get the full use out of it. So to start off with, there's been a change to the single target in that you want to start off with Haunt. So the target's already got that debuff on it of the Haunt and dealing more damage. So you want to keep up your Unstable. And see, now i got an instant um, Shadow Bolt. So I just want to stack up my Unstables, make sure I reapply all my dots. And now I've got an instant um, Shadow Bolt, reapply Haunt. Can use Soul Harvest now, just so I'm big, dealing big damage. Reapply my Unstable Afflictions, redo Agony and Corruption on the target, and use Shadow Bolts. Reapply Haunt as soon as it's up. Reapply Haunt. Oh, I accidentally moved. So you just want to make sure that you're reapplying Haunt all the time on the target and applying your dots. So just all the time making sure that you're keeping up Haunt. So it'd be good to get a weak aura on on Haunt so you can check that when it's coming up so you can use it instantly. So that your target's just taking really, really big damage. As you can see, Athlete isn't the best for single target, but everyone really knew that due to the fact like of how OP um, Seed of Corruption is. But yeah, this is it for single target for, for locks. The main change is that you have Haunt now and you've got to keep that up. So you're, you're doing basically 10% more single target damage. And now I'll showcase the AoE talents and the rotation. So I just dismiss my pet, run out of combat, and use my tome. So now you want to take um, you want to take Death Vault just so that you can hit the target, which whichever one you um, whichever target you're focusing, it will have corruption on it, no more than likely from Seed of Corruption, and you can just deal big damage to it with uh, Death Vault. You want to take um, Death's Embrace for this due to the fact that you don't need Corruption to be permanent due to the fact that ads are going to die really, really quickly. So with Death's Embrace, ads are going to die much quicker. Your Seed of Corruption and all your other spells are going to deal much more damage than lower down, which is just killing them off quicker and quicker. Next one's down to you again, but I like Burning Rush just so I can move quicker. Next one, you want to take Sow the Seeds, obviously. 
due to the fact that every time you use a seed of corruption on the target, once that um, once the either corruption gets damaged and put off or the target dies, you're just going to be spreading out more and more seeds. They're going to be exploding more and more corruptions off. So they, uh, you just really want to sow the seeds. Next one's down to you again, but I'll take Dark Fury just so I can stun more targets. Um, as well, you just want to take um, Nightfall again. I'm pretty sure here, coming soon, will be another AoE talent. Just so it just incorporates them all in. But Nightfall's good because you're going to get loads and loads of procs of because you've got corruption on all the targets. Oh. And the next one you want to take is Creeping Death. Obviously because corruption's going to tick quicker and you're going to have that on all the targets. So what you want to start off with, you want to start off with putting... Um, get out your pet, obviously. Start off by putting Seed of Corruption on your target. And then Agony. So you want to put an Agony just so you're ramping up them Soul Shards. Give it your um, Unstable Affliction. So see, now that's spread, so my Corruption's on all the targets. Reapply Agony on that guy. And now I just put down my Seeds. I'm going to use Death Bolt now just so it deals big damage. Onto the target. Reapply another Seed. Reapply Agony on all the targets, so it's ramping up. If there's more targets, obviously my Corruption would be spreading to a lot more people. But obviously because the targets aren't dying, they aren't going to be exploding as much. But as you can see, like, they're instantly exploding my um, my bolts, which is giving every single target Corruption and just increasing my damage loads. So there's, there's not really a big change with Warlocks. It's just more the fact that you're, you're increasing the damage of all your dots overall, really. But yeah. That's basically it for um, Affliction. Not much has changed. But yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more guides. And comment if you want me to do any more guides. See you in the next one.